Hey you guys, it has been a hot second since Brooklyn and I have filmed a Who Wore It Better. But it's a little different this time because instead of styling the same clothing items, we decided to try it where we had themes for each outfit and we each got to style it however we wanted. We try and see who can style their boyfriend slash husband's clothes the best. I keep forgetting sometimes I'm like husband, oh my gosh, like oh my gosh. We wanted to give a big thank you to Kate Spade New York for sponsoring this video. These are some of the Kate Spade items I have to style. Freaking adorable. Love it so much. Now the real problem is just gonna be styling these cute items with Dakota's closet. <laughs> that I have to style an outfit for is date night. So I'm just gonna kind of pick out my outfits and I'll show you the details while I do it. These are the Kate Spade New York flamenco sandals in dried apricot. I think I'm gonna start with these because I think heels are like a really great date night vibe, you know? Also, they're really cute and such a fun color. You guys can explore the Kate Spade New York Spring 2022 collection in stores or online at katespade.com. And I think he's got these really cute plaid kind of dress pants. And I think like the color goes so well. So I think I'm gonna try, keyword try to style it with these pants and see how it goes. Hi. <laughs> Asa even has like, I. this is gonna be very interesting. His closet, you very You probably heavy. know what's in there better than I do. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of rough, so I'm about to go raid his closet. This is the sum total of his closet right here. That's it, well, which that is a lot, and we're grateful for it, but you know, compared to my clothes, yikes. Okay guys, I had this idea that I could make like an oversized blazer outfit. What say ye? Good idea, bad idea? I'm afraid it will look too businessy and not date night enough, but We'll see. I put a bralette underneath, so it's a little more like date night-ish, but I still feel like it kind of looks stiff. I definitely think I need some kind of bottom going on here to make it more, I'm hot and I know it and I'm going on a date night type of outfit. You feel me? The real problem is gonna be that these pants are quite literally like four or five sizes too big. I had this top that I had just brought with me in the sheer adds kind of like a fun vibe to the patterns on the pants. Let me adjust this, I will be back. Okay, I did find these velvety shorts. I feel like I couldn't get more date night-ish. This is working. Obviously, you guys know accessories are a must. I have these accessories from Kate Spade New York as options. I'm definitely thinking this one, which is the Avenue Medium Satchel in Milk Glass, that cream color, you already know, is gonna match my blazer so nicely. You guys, I just grabbed this from my closet. The perfect accessory to make this more flirty and fun, along with my bag from Kate Spade, New York. Hold on. <laughs> Take me on a date, Asa. <laughs> I will. You look so hot. Okay, as a last minute add, I've thrown on these Kate Spade New York Social Butterfly Drop Earrings in Clear Gold. Cause I felt like they kind of spiced up the vibe. This is like a date night vibe, I feel like. Pants, really nice. Shoes, really cute, fancy heels. I've got kind of a more casual, kind of flirty top on. And then I've got my cute little sparkly earrings. I like it, I would wear this for real. You guys, I'm also, kid you not, not joking. I have not won one of these videos. So when I say I will haunt you all, just kidding, I won't. If I don't win this one, my hopes of ever reclaiming the title of the most fashionable twin are over. The dreams are gone. What do you think? You look so good. Woo! Ow, ow! Okay, now it's time for round two. And the theme for round two is spring picnic. This is a little bit broader. I feel like date night was pretty specific. Spring picnic, I'm kind of like, hmm. I have kind of an idea of what I want to do, but I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna have to go hunt through his closet and see if I can find something. Yeah, we'll see. This is gonna be such a struggle in Ace's closet. You, okay, when I think for spring picnic, I think a gingham dress, pair of heels, a cute handbag, maybe some fun earrings. Asa doesn't have any of that in his closet. So, seeing a whole lot of nothing. No gingham, no oversized sweaters I could maybe use. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. I am kind of struggling like this much with this theme because I'm not sure what direction I really wanna go. But I know for accessories, 
accessories I really want to use is Kate Spade New York bag. This is the Manhattan Fool Jacquard Large Tote in Black Multi. It's really cute. Got cute flowers on it. Really floral, springy, which I love because obviously the theme is spring picnic and spring is literally here and it's warm outside. And now I have this option. Cute, but feels a little casual. Also, the next theme is Chill Day In. And I'm kind of feeling this vibe for Chill Day In. Cute with the bag. Then I also was thinking maybe a button up with a belt. That felt a little bit more stylized, like a little bit more picnic-y. Okay, I did find this shirt that I think might be possible to layer under something, like a dress that I have in my closet. This might be as good as it gets. I can't tell if I think this is cute or not. I'm gonna try with a pair of jeans. I can't seem to find anything better. I think I'm just gonna stick with it and kind of do like a fancy or spring picnic look. I know that I said I wanted to use that pink shirt, but I actually changed my mind and I'm just gonna use a basic white button up because I feel like that's the most neutral and easiest to match. And I did find this skirt, maxi skirt, which feels very spring picnic-y to me. So this is what we got so far. I'm actually kind of digging it. I feel like I need a good pair of sandals to kick it off. To accessorize, I'm definitely gonna use this Voyage small top handle, and I think the color is pink sugar, which coordinates very nicely with my skirt. Yes, yes. This plus the skirt, very springy. This bag is exactly what you would expect somebody to wear to a spring picnic. It looks very picnic baskety, and that's why it's perfect. Also loving that it matches my skirt, which I can wear. I love I love that spring in general just means skirts and dresses and florals. Bright pops of pink. Oh, you guys know I love that stuff. Okay, I did have these really fun bell bottom, soft, flowy pants. I don't know if this is something I would go for in real life, but I think it kind of fits the vibe I'm going for, which is kind of like picnicky mom spring vibes. I don't know. I think the bag kind of ties it all together. And it's just like the cute spring picnic look casual but styled but cozy, you know? So I have Dakota's pink button down, I have his belt on, I have my white fuzzy pants, and then I have the Kate Spade New York coat bag. And then I also kept on the butterfly earrings just because they're kind of a statement. Ooh, I like the shoes. Thanks. Final look for a spring picnic outfit using ASOS clothes for the most part. I added this little headband, but I'm digging the coordination of the bag with the pink skirt, the pop of pink, yes. Okay, I told y'all before the final round is like cozy night in. I kind of by default picked out my outfit already because I was like hunting for the other outfit. But I think this one's gonna be really fun because I love cozy clothes and Dakota's closet actually is full of cozy clothes. So I have lots of options for this one. You know, I was thinking about maybe going through his sweats. Then I saw his swimsuits and I was like, well, wait a second, these are way cuter and they kind of look like cozy pajama pants. Funny fact, Asa has actually taken some sweats that I was gonna get rid of and now wears them. Yeah, they're actually really nice. Because <laughs> they were like slightly big. too big for me. So I'm just gonna steal those. Like, cause literally, why not? It's perfect. I found them. And I'm thinking black on black. I'll show you. With my tank and the sweats, I'll add a little something something to this, but uh, uh, it's a good start. This is a total vibe. You wouldn't wear like heavy accessories for a day in. So I'm just gonna put a clip in my hair. Oh, I'm just casually at home. I'm sitting on my couch looking fashionista. Here we go. Clip in, sweats on. This outfit is good. Also, last time I did not win, according to you guys, because I didn't put shoes on some of my outfits. I do not think you need to wear shoes for a day in. Like a chill day in, would you really put shoes on? I'm not gonna put shoes on. And if some of y'all come at me and say, babe, you didn't win because you didn't put shoes on, I'm literally gonna be like, no. Okay, I picked out a swimsuit bottom of Dakota's and then I threw on this like fuzzy tank top that I had from my closet. I can't really think of anything else that really like would pair well for like a cozy outfit. So I really just have like kind of these, they're kind of just like pajama shorts, but they're actually swimsuit shorts, which is so funny. And then I have like my cozy top and I think I'm just gonna find like a pair of socks to throw on and make that kind of just my cozy day in outfit. I still have those earrings in because they're just, I think they just like really are a nice piece that kind of go with everything. That's my whole cozy day in outfit. I'm just gonna throw some socks on and we'll be done. Chill day in with my clip. Cute. And my effortless hair that really wasn't effortless at all. Yes, I think it's good.
Now we just have to wait until Brooklyn is able to put her outfits together and then we'll post the results to see who wins. Hopefully me. <laughs> We're rooting for me because I have not won one yet, but if not, it's okay, I guess it's fine. Okay, I literally just woke up, which is why I look like this. But it's a day after we filmed the video and I went and checked the results and I won! I was shocked, literally shocked. I was like, I thought for sure Bailey was gonna win. I literally thought for sure she was gonna win and then I won. Just so you guys know, in case you're wondering, Bailey has never won one of these videos. She was determined this time and she didn't get it. We literally had a text thread. I'll show you what the text thread looked like. It looked like this. I'm pumped I won! Sorry, Bailey. Ugh. Unfortunately, yet another round I lost. I feel like I did pretty good on this one too, but it is what it is. I gotta give Brooklyn some respect for her outfit choices. Favoritism, just kidding, just kidding. But actually, we love you guys so much. Thank you to Kate Spade New York for sponsoring this video, and we will see y'all next week. Bye-bye.